So we're looking today at the graphs of a reciprocal function. So a reciprocal function has the equation y is equal to k over x. Now k is going to be a number. Okay, so the special name for this graph is called a hyperbola. Um, so it has asymptotes at the x-axis and the y-axis. So what that means is an asymptote is a point that the graph approaches but can't ever or won't ever touch okay so what this means is that the graph of a reciprocal function or a parabola exists purely in the quadrants it doesn't cross any axes at all okay um, so it actually has two branches which I'll show you in a sec when I graph it um, but the branches are essentially symmetrical. They're the same shape, same size. They're just in opposite quadrants. So there'll be one branch in quadrant one and one branch in quadrant three. Okay, so to graph a hyperbola, just like any other graph, we make a table of values. We draw our number plane if we don't have one already. Um, we plot our points and then we join our points. Now, remembering it is a curve, okay? So... Um, you do it is there is an element of estimation, um, but you do need to make sure that you are not ruling um, between the points. Okay, it is a curve. Um, so as I said before, the name of the graph is called a hyperbola. All right. So if we have a look at our example, we've been asked to draw the graph of y is equal to two over x. Okay. So that takes the form y equals k over x. In this case, our k value is simply 2. So what I'm going to do following my steps, I'm going to make a table of values. So I have x and I have y. Now I'm just going to extend it a little bit further today. So I'm still going to take it about the um, origin, but I'm going to go to negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so when x is negative 4, uh, 2 over negative 4 becomes negative 1 over 2. When x is negative 3, we get negative 2 over 3. And fractions are absolutely fine to use here. If you didn't use a fraction, it would be a decimal, and this negative 2 thirds would have to be approximated. Um, so fractions, as I said, are absolutely fine. Uh, 2 over negative 2 becomes negative 1. 2 over negative 1 becomes negative 2, 2 over 0, we cannot divide by 0, as we all know, so that doesn't exist. So I'm just going to put a little dash there, okay, and that's exactly what I said before, because normally we would find when x equals 0, that's where our graph crosses the y-axis, but a hyperbola does not cross the y-axis. It doesn't cross the x-axis either, so you'll find um, that the graph also doesn't exist when y equals zero. Okay. Uh, then we continue on with our points. And we have 2 over 1 is 2. 2 over 2 is 1. 2 over 3 is 2 over 3. And 2 over 4 is 1 over 2. Okay. So now we have our table of values. We have our um, pairs of coordinates that our graph will run through. So now I'm going to graph that. Um, I will need to cover my table of values, but that's okay. So I've no, um, my graph runs through negative four, negative a half. So as I said, there is a bit of estimation required here, uh, but that's about there. Okay. Uh, negative three, negative two thirds. Be there. And then we have negative two, negative one. Negative 1, negative 2. Doesn't exist at 0. And then at 1, at x is 1, y is 2. At x is 2, y is 1. So you notice it's symmetrical in the opposite quadrants, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, then we have 3, 2 thirds and for a half. Um, so as I said, it is a curve. It does require some 
estimation, okay, but essentially what you're going to see, it's difficult for me to do this one handed, is our graph looks the same in the first quadrant as it does in the second quadrant. So what actually happens here is our graph gets closer and closer and closer to the x-axis at both sides and closer and closer and closer to the y-axis at both sides but it doesn't ever touch. So I just want to show you what happens when we're graphing a hyperbola with different values of k. All right, so if I got y equals um, 1 over x, okay, that's our, I guess, our basic hyperbola. And then if I have larger values of k, so y equals 5 over x, okay, you can just see that the curve um, kind of gets a bit flatter. It maintains the same shape. But the smaller the value of k, um, the more squared out the, the graph becomes. All right, so I'll just give you y equals 10 over x. So it's, just, it's the same shape, it's just getting flatter and flatter as the value of k gets bigger. Now, if we've got um, negative values of k, I'll show you what happens. Okay, our graph is just using the other quadrant. So instead of being in quadrants one and three, it's now in quadrants two and four. So same shape, same graph, just in the opposite quadrants. Hopefully that was helpful for you to visualize what a hyperbola is.